I think fall is rapidly making itself felt, and while it still does feel like summer, the autumn air will soon make a noticeable change that could affect your hair. Nine first warning meteorologist Cherry Hughes tells us how to keep your hair on your head and off the bathroom <laughs> floor. Um, you're losing some of the moisture in the climate, and then also you're getting less vitamin D from the sun. Annie Jones is not a meteorologist. She's a teaching cosmetologist at Aveda Fredericks Institute who knows a lot about keeping the hair on your head healthy. Now that the leaves are changing colors and shedding, so will your hair. August to November is peak season for hair loss, mostly due to drier air and less sun to produce vitamin D. But some hair loss is normal. Normal hair loss is about 40 to 100 trans a day. Um, anything beyond that you want to kind of watch. Here's how to prevent excessive hair loss during the fall and winter. Keep your hair clean. Use moisturizing shampoos, conditioners, and avoid dry scalp. Get those split ends trimmed regularly. And use serums and protectant creams before blow drying and using hot flat irons. Take daily vitamins, drink lots of water, and eat a balanced meal. Verne Meadows at Acute Hair Salon says different hair types require different techniques, but the essential needs are all the same. I, I tell my clients that they don't need to use heat daily. That is very drying to the hair. Hair coloring now mimics the vibrant colors of fall, but chemical hair treatments like coloring and perms should be professionally done so your hair doesn't end up on the floor unless you want it there. In Westchester, Nine First Warning Meteorologist Sherry Hughes. Now, if you notice more hair loss than usual, you should see a hair care professional or get checked out by your doctor. Steve?